What's up YouTube? So here's a little hybrid motor that I have been putting together for the last forever and uh, we're going to be tossing that into this beast. But for all that know me, you know, this has been like a 15 year long project for me. So what's another 10, right? So one step at a time, we're going to be changing out these fuel rails for something a little cooler looking. But these aren't made for this, so we need to make stuff and maybe cut things off to make this work. So let's do it. I like using layout fluid because it makes me feel pro. Pro status, right? I don't know, this stuff's pretty cool. Lay it on there and scratch it off where you need to make your marks. It's pretty cool. All right, since we got the layout fluid all dried up, let's make a mark or two. I'm trying to get this centered. That looks pretty good right there. And I don't know if you can see that, but I made a very small center mark on where I want the center line to ride. All right, so what I did was added one more mark to this plate the same way that we just uh, I just showed you so now what I'm gonna do is line them up with the straight edge if I can it's kind of hard I don't know what's going on here ooh that, this plate has a little bow in it let's take that out a little better. Hmm. Let's uh let's do something different here. Be a little easier to hold this where I need it, and let's, uh, let's add a clamp to uh, hold it where I need it because I want this to be precise. I don't want to do this a couple times. Let's clamp down. All right, I'm gonna scribe it with a razor blade. Now we should have a really nice center line. I don't know if you can see that. Boom, look at that. See, that's all clean looking. All right, let's go make our other marks. All right. Let's, uh, Kind of a crappy mark. Go right off of that, I guess. That's pretty good. Oh, yeah, I think that looks fine. All right, cool. Let's go uh, make a good mark on these. Here we go. There we go. That's a nice little mark. Cool. Let's uh, center punch these. Boom. Nice. Okay. 
we're going to be using this to make our holes. Alright, we're centered up. These uh, numbers? Yeah. So I'll just paint them like silver or something like that? Pretty good job here. Cool. Let's go see what it looks like. All right. Yeah, man, I think that's gonna work out pretty good. Cool. So now the next step is to, I need to make a mark right here to lop this this chunk off. I think that's a good spot. Cool, got a mark. Yeah. Let's try it out and see what it looks like. No, wrong way. All right, cool. Well, I'm gonna mount it up. Alright, so we got some injectors in here, and uh, let's do some mocking up and see what our gap is on the bottom after this sits on it. Alright, so we are going to try to measure the gap here. I just want to get it close. Doesn't need to be perfect. I don't know if you can hear my stomach, it's growling right now. Alright. So, we got 195 hundreds, or however you say that, 0.195 of an inch that we need to shave off. And let's measure this depth. Point two seven five, point two seven six. Let's add those together and do some cutting. So we're going to take the tool bit or the end mill, put it to the metal, and we're going to rotate this to zero. See it? I don't know if I get a good angle on it, but it's. Uh... Right there, cool. Zero on the little hash mark there. So now the end mill is zeroed out. So since we got it at zero, we're going to run this to 0.47. So there would be four. And then we're going to go seven hash marks. And then boom, we're at our cut end cut mark. <laughs>
that busted off. I cut it wrong. I should have shaved off a little at a time. I got. Wow. All right. Well, let's take a look at what we can do to make this better. Yeah, that's pretty thin right there. So I think I'm going to take it all the way down to this lip. And then build a shim of some sort. So after shaving off this piece, I noticed the amount of material that was left wasn't, it didn't look good. So I ended up uh, shaving the rest of it off and coming up with a solution to make up for the gap that was going to be here, uh, the way it mounted on this, this plate that we built. Um, so I ended up going to the hardware store, grabbing a brass uh, bushing that's flanged, and then I pressed in a, uh, an insert into it so I can utilize the size of bolt that I'd like to uh, use to mount this and looks like a kind of nice little setup. I don't really care for the brass look but whatever. I'm all about just getting this mounted up and getting this damn thing running so we'll see how this goes. So here's how I'm going to scribe that plate. I'm just going to use a quarter inch drill bit. That's what size this bushing is. Pop this in here And just move it. So let's take a look at. Oh, there we go. There's the mark. All right, last hole. Oh, oh hey, you're still watching this crap? <laughs> Maybe next time I'll actually really be driving this bitch. <laughs>